Namaste, 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 Soul Tribe family. Welcome back my way. I'm this divinely guided day. I love you. The divine loves you. The Soul Tribe family loves you. I'll be in 1111 Energy. Soul Tribe family loves you. Okay. Hopefully you're well, you're rested, and your families are doing well. They're rested. I hope you're feeling blessed. Okay. Highly favored. You woke up. You were able to do it again make better stride, change things, okay, to somebody that needed to hear that, all right, for somebody, you need to understand that, you know, you're more powerful than you think, right now, you may be feeling down and out, maybe feeling like things aren't going your way, the divine is saying um, things are going to turn around for you, but first, you have got to change the way you are thinking, for somebody, message, for everybody. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Okay. Take what resonates with the messages. Flip the roles as you see fit. I'm here in divine. Tell me to tell you that. Remind you of that. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Remember to give it a thumbs up. And share it with someone that you know may be able to resonate with the message if you know someone that one of the messages resonates with, okay? Divine gave me some channels on Saturday, y'all. So we use in this deck, everything here is divinely channeled and during a time that it needed to be, okay? So before I start, quick disclosure, I do curse, I do speak the truth. I do call out names of God at two. Divine creator of all living things, protect myself and the collective during this reading, all readings and all the time. Ashe. Provide both myself and the collective with clear and concise messages. Ashe. Provide both myself and the collective with clarity, guidance, intuition, wisdom, and discernment. Ashe. Divine, return any and all negativity that is directed at my collective. Return to sender as we clear, cancel, and release to the universe as I am ordained to do so. Ashe. All right, y'all. Let's get into one of these divinely guided messages. Um, take what resonates, leave what does not. Flip the roles as you see fit, okay? I'm just going to let them come out. All right. So we have love and happiness here. Love and happiness. Trust the divine. Ask for guidance. The divine wants to bring you clarity or bring clarity to you. Trust the divine. Ask for guidance. The divine wants to bring clarity to you. Love and guidance. Okay. Be kind to yourself. Love yourself. Be no one but yourself. No one else. That's power. I have dreamed about you. I kept it to myself is out here. Then we have confused or confusion. Some of you may be feeling that way. Trust the divine. Ask for guidance. The divine wants to bring you clarity. That's out here twice. So this is a double confirmation. And what I did was I rewrote it because the penmanship on this one was better. But because it's out here twice, that is a double confirmation. Somebody here does need to go inward and ask the divine for guidance. Okay. Um, you've been lied. I mean, you have been lied on, stolen from, and abused by people, places, and things is out here. They love you, but they are in a toxic relationship. Be patient when the time is right. They will come to you. I feel like that has to do with something with love and happiness. And then I owe you an apology for not seeing your gifts earlier. Facts. I feel that also is that energy. There's some sort of confusion here. Yeah, so stop trying to please everybody. Please yourself, love yourself, care for yourself is out here again. Somebody could be confused about that. Somebody may owe you an apology behind something because I feel like this energy here, you you didn't show yourself some self-love. You could be all up in your head about this. 
and someone owes you an apology for not seeing your gifts earlier, not seeing your worth, then we have love and happiness out here. We have uh, be kind to yourself. I feel like this is a lot to do with this energy. I have dreamed about you, kept it to myself, and they love you, but they're in a toxic relationship. Be patient when the time is right. They will come to you. Yeah, you may be being you may be confused. I feel like this is your family. For some of you in the middle, you know, I feel like your family is um family's everything to you. I'm hearing that for some someone here, family is everything to you. You could be confused or someone could be causing could be causing some sort of confusion. I feel like spirit is telling you to uh, stop trying to please everybody, please yourself, love yourself, care for yourself and first. You know what I'm saying? Spirit is telling me put that on there first because a lot of you don't understand that. I think first is key. Thank you, spirit. First, F-I-R-S-T. Yeah. Okay. So stop trying to please everybody. Please yourself, love yourself, care for yourself first. Okay, thank you, spirit. Okay, for somebody you needed to hear that message. Okay. Someone owes you an apology. They could have caused you to become confused behind um, something that took place. Um, this could be a family member. I feel like somebody, uh, I don't know why I'm getting this. I'm channeling you went to an event or you was invited to a, par a party, a barbecue, something. And something happened. Someone owes you an apology. This could also even be to you telling somebody something they didn't believe you. Now they see your gifts. Be kind to yourself. Right? Love yourself. Be you. No one but yourself. No one else. That's power in that. That's what spirit is saying. And the divine wants you to seriously go to the divine twice. Trust the divine. Ask for guidance. The divine wants to bring you clarity. Trust the divine. Ask for guidance. The divine wants to bring clarity to you. Either way it goes, the divine wants to bring you clarity. You need to go straight to the divine with all of your questions and your concerns. I'm hearing and you have been lied on, stolen from, abused by people, places, and things. So it just wasn't uh, just pertaining to anywhere. It was just, or just one particular place, one particular person. It was like everywhere you were going, it was feeling like that. You was just surrounded by a dark cloud. You know what I'm saying? People tripping with you. You know, places you were once welcome. Now they looking at you crazy, I'm hearing. Yeah. Somebody here uh, put you on a walk of shame. And I feel it's a walk of shame that behind lies, some sort of lies and deceit that were told on you. So either you was on a walk of, a walk of shame or something that was shameful. I feel like somebody did defamation of character, tried to mess up your um, reputation, period, because they was hating. Yeah, because they envy you. They envy you. They envy your abilities. They are just envious, envious. Someone here, they love you more than you know. They can't be with you right now. Their love will come from a distance. A stay positive. Keep the faith. Believe in yourself. And protect your energy. Protect your crown chakras out here. Yeah, because, you know... Like I said, you had that, like, it just felt like everywhere you went, there was something going on. The spirit is telling me to stand these three up. I got you. So that you can see. What they are saying. But this is all about trusting in your, trust in the divine. The divine will bring you clarity. That's what I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. 
Stop trying to please everybody. Please yourself. Love yourself. Care for yourself first. That's what I'm hearing. Fish that is it. Okay, one more. Yeah, protect your energy. Thank you, Divine. I appreciate you. It's better to put them just like that. So, yeah, there y'all go. So I'm feeling out here like, you know, whew, for some of y'all, you know, and this take what resonates, but, you know, pertaining to this protect your energy and protect your crown chakra that's out here. I feel like that is, it has a lot to do with your love and happiness because, you know, energy is exchanged through what? Sexual content, sexual connections, physical, physical sexuality. That's the strongest exchange of energy. If y'all don't know now, you know. I feel like uh, protect your energy and protecting your chakra. Your crown chakra has everything to do with your crown, your heart. And your sacral. Your sacral chakra. Also, your solar plexus. Coming from feelings. You know what I'm saying? I feel that's what spirit wants you to protect. And someone has dreamed about you. And they keep it to themselves. They love you, but they're in a toxic relationship. Be patient. When the time is right, they will come to you. And then they love you more than you know. They can't be with you right now. Their love will come from a distance. That's a double confirmation. On the love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like somebody's uh, seriously in your energy field. Okay. Now trust the divine. Ask for guidance. The divine wants to bring you clarity. That also, too, was pretty much a double confirmation. You have been lied on, stolen from, abused by people, places, and things. So that means your whole environment. And when I said I was picking up on that energy, uh, like um, somebody trying to put you through a walk of shame through, uh, through life, like, you know, you was cool going into the store. Now, all of a sudden, you go into the store and motherfuckers, mm, oh, you like, damn, what I do to you? It was all good, you know, and I was just coming in here buying my shit, but don't trip. You know what I'm saying? Somebody tried to put you on a walk of shame, tried to make you feel shameful for something. Um. I feel like that's like defamation of character. That's slandering. Defamation of character, slandering shit. Motherfucker, I'm grown now. Whatever I did when I was motherfucking 20 up, bitch, my business. Whatever you did, I'm sure is your business. You feel me? But you know, motherfuckers is trying to like hold something on or put something over your head. Something could have happened in your recent past and they're just trying to hold it over your head like that shit can't happen. The fuck it can't. Not with all these motherfuckers running around here buying pussy. Excuse my French. But yeah, you know, you got trick daddy, sugar daddies, all this kind of weird ass shit going on out here. That's what I'm hearing. The sugar babies. That's what I'm hearing. You know what I'm saying? So somebody tried to put you on a walk of shame and you like, bitch, please, this is what, this is what folks is doing. Some of y'all may have contracted something because every time I pull out that uh <laughs> that goddamn uh my T deck that caught up and disease be popping out. I was like, damn. But you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, you know, you done dealt with some bullshit. And it's like, look, you know, you pretty solid. That's what I'm hearing. You solid. You ain't fucking around with nothing or no one. For some of you, you ain't even fucking around with nobody. That's what I'm hearing. You done went all the way like, uh, I'm good. Somebody out here envies you for that. That you able to not have to run after it. You ain't chasing it. They envy you for that. You ain't chasing it. Mm -mm. And they envy you for that. You may even be a wiser woman. At the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you a wiser woman. You ain't chasing shit. That's what I'm hearing.
Mm-hmm. That's what I'm hearing. You ain't chasing nothing. Yeah. Somebody tried to have you, you know, confused or placed in confusion. Like I said, I was picking up like family energy. That's where that stop trying to please everybody. Please yourself, love yourself, care for yourself first is at. Yeah, confused. Some sort of confusion here. Somebody wants to apologize to you for this. I owe you an apology for not seeing your gifts earlier. You know, you may have been the life of the party. You may be somebody that could bring everybody together. You may be a healer, a seer, a sayer, a truth speaker, a shaman. Someone with shamanic um, gifts. You may have a platform, be a tarot card reader, oracle card reader. Combination of both. I'm hearing you all the way in the um, fifth dimensional realms and higher for some of you. Someone's saying, be kind to yourself right now, spirit. This is a message for someone. Spirit is saying, be kind to yourself, love yourself, uh, be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Be no one but yourself, no one else. There's power there. Stay positive, keep the faith, believe in yourself once again. So there's something that's really got you down and out. I'm feeling this energy like you really heartbroken because for the spirit to keep iterating here, to love yourself, be yourself. There's someone here that you are lacking a lot of self-love, self-care. You may have been just going, going, going. You ain't really been taking care of yourself, I'm hearing. Then we have protect your energy, protect your crown chakra out here, love and happiness. Someone here, I have dreamed about you and I kept it to myself. There's somebody that's really dreaming about you there and there's a double confirmation. But here, they love you, but they're in a toxic relationship. So they want you to be patient. They'll come to you when it's time. But then they love you even more than someone out here believes or thinks and they can't be with you right now. But their love will come from a distance. So, you know, you may be caught up in hard times or something, and all of a sudden, boom, something breaks through for you. That could be them sending their love, but we'll get we'll get some clarification. Let's go in here and let's see. My yin and yang deck. Let's see how jive, how it vibes. Vibes with my divinely guided messages. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Dang, this deck been in the box so long, it's hard. Okay. I'm going to do it from this angle. Let's get the clarifications out here. Trust the divine, ask for guidance. The divine wants to bring you clarity. When it's pertaining to this, you have been lied on, stolen from, accused by people. I mean, abused by people, places, and things. Some of y'all could have been accused of something too. And no, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, these ain't no good memories. <laughs> these damn show ain't no good memories, okay? Sources say it, they ain't no good memories. You ain't having good memories behind these people, places, and things that have done this to you. They don't bring back no memories of nostalgia. Mm. <laughs> what other messages do you have, Divine? Yeah. These was all control tactics. What other messages do you have? Yeah. I told you. Assistance. From your spirit guides. You got to go to the divine and ask for assistance. Mm -hmm. There was definitely not no good memories. All control tactics. Some of you did go to the divine and ask for assistance and receive that through your spirit guides. Some of you are being guided to do so at this time. Go straight to source. 
trust the divine, ask for guidance. The divine wants to bring you clarity. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles out here nurturing and companion and compassion. So there could have been some sort of a confusion behind um Ace of uh Ace of uh Earth or Ace of Um swords i said pentacle my bad ace of air why am i saying that there because ace of earth is on my, my mind there could be some sort of confusion you could have a gemini libra aquarius in your energy ace of air excuse me once again and clarifying the message if i said ace of um earth rebuke clear that from this reading not rebuke it but you know what i'm saying clear cancel and release that's their energy trying to come in but there is some sort of confusion or or a, a gemini libra or aquarius that's confused this is ace of um swords this is truth here it could be behind the um nurture and compassion they could be conf they could be confused you know you may have tried to show them nurture and compassion and uh shit they didn't appreciate it or they felt like whatever and you just you know boom cut them off they're confused about that they may owe you an apology at this time they may be seeking um for you to uh, maybe even apologize to them but since it says i owe you an apology this could be your energy you may want to apologize to them but i mean shit sometimes you know i feel that energy of kissing ass out here because i feel like they're selfish Mm -hmm. that's why spirit's telling you to stop trying to please everybody please yourself love yourself care for yourself first but they're confused there's a gemini libra aquarius out here that's confused behind your nurture and your compassion that's what i'm saying it's because it, it's like shoot it came out yeah your nurture and your compassion mm-hmm Because you've already been that, you know, you've already been that for them to them. I'm hearing. Clarify this, protect your energy and protect your crown chakra, protect your energy and protect your crown chakra. Mm, oh, shit. Look what all came out, y'all. So this winter, there was a rebirth, not for somebody. Whoever was spying and watching, they got caught up. They was um all kind of they was in separation longing oh maybe they wanted you in this energy let me see something didn't happen for somebody this winter whoever was spying and watching that had to stop that had to cease there was some sort of separation and and lo loneliness and longing for this this activity to take place this was like a broken contract of some sort. It, you're no longer under this contract. Whatever this contract was, they can no longer watch and keep a close eye on you. These was people that was like up in your energy. That's why it's protect your energy, protect your crown chakra. They was trying to like be all in your energy, trying to watch you. This stopped this winter from them watching you. They separated, you know what I'm saying? They had to separate from you. Many of them are struggling with doing this, but this contract to a career or some sort of commitment, it came to an end. You opened up. You received something here. You're opening up to something that's coming in. Some of you may wonder if you know, uh, you may still be stuck in your ego. I feel like I feel like spirit is saying they stuck in their ego because this had to end and you're receiving something. I feel like it's new love coming in for you because there's a chemistry and passion here with stability, harmony, and flow. But still spirit wants you to still protect your energy and protect your crown chakra. Yin and Yang, love my deck, huh? Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Divine, for all the messages. 
a walk of shame. Yeah, they've tried to put a north node on a walk of shame. Trust the divine, ask for guidance. The divine wants to bring you clarity, walk of shame or shameful, trying to make someone in their north node, this cosmic being that knows their purpose, trying to put them on a walk of shame, making them shameful at the bottom of the deck. We got self-worth and expectations. You know what I'm saying? You know your self-worth and you know what um, your expectations are because you're already in North Node energy. There's some sort of karmic um, uh, justice coming from this karma behind them trying to put you on a walk of shame or make you out to be something you're not. Pluto energy here. Some sort of transformation took place. Scorpionic energy. You may have that in your placement, in your chart. Star energy out here. One moment. I want to take a look at something, y'all. Hold up. Oh, oh, man. If I knew how to work my phone, huh? <laughs> it's like, can I get it together? I just want to see something. Mm -mm. Okay, thank you. All right, let's see if I can get it, y'all. Yeah. So, um... Mm. oops I blew it up too much okay that's what I want to see so number 17 that may be significant to you star energy gives me um I was trying to see um what zodiac signs specifically you know um was star energy, but I don't think there is one. But you just may be a galactic being, a star seed. You may be a star seed. That's what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is an offer of love here. This is an offer of love. Somebody is making an offer of love to you. This person or this energy that I have dreamed about you, I've kept it to myself. This is an offer of love. Yeah, so there's a love offer coming in. Somebody may be spying. Yeah. Somebody here is, um, they don't want to accept the change. They don't have courage. I feel like that's somebody that owes you the apology. And they're seeing your gifts, but they don't have the courage to come in and apologize. They may not have the courage to change. I feel like they have um, a problem with using, yeah, divine masculine. But it came out on the fence or it's a masculine energy. It came out on the fence. Maybe they don't, uh, maybe they're questioning themselves. Let me clarify this. This feels to me like, um, I don't know why I just heard cousin, somebody, y'all got a cousin. They're masculine, but it's on the fence. Maybe somebody just found out their cousin is like, you know, um, bisexual. I'm here. Or something of that. Something like that. Somebody found out somebody's bisexual. A friend. Yeah. Dark night of the soul or dark night here. Shadow side, moon. Yeah. There's illusions here. you're not clear you're not clear I owe you an apology for not seeing your gifts somebody here um didn't have the courage there was some you was able to see or you picked up on pertaining to somebody I'm hearing this may be um, a feminine energy or a masculine energy that um, you was being blinded. There was some sort of confusion. Yeah, there was a confusion out here.
they was maybe afraid to bring this to you. Or they may have been um, concerned about, you know, how you would treat them. There's something out here, though, that um, somebody owed you an apology. This could be your story. Like, you may have come out, you know, and let somebody know something. There was some sort of, um, but whatever disharmony and whatever was trying to be triggered or whatever conflict that was getting ready to come about, um, there is none. That's what Source is saying. There is none. I feel like this is the energy where somebody you know is masculine, but also connected to their feminine side as well. They may be um, working in their shadow side or operating in their shadow side, moon energy, Piscean energy out here. There could be illusions or something that was hidden from you, from this Pisces energy. I feel like maybe this Pisces energy goes both ways. That's what I'm hearing. Or you just found out something pertaining to this Pisces sexuality. That's what I'm hearing. I'm also picking up the energy of this uh, because the masculine came out on the fence. That's the energy I'm getting. It feels to me like, you know, they're going back and forth with themselves. Yeah. They're not taking care of themselves. There's no self-care here. I feel like that's... um. That's their energy. That's why spirit is telling you to take care of yourself. You may not be taking care of yourself right now. You may need to start taking care of yourself right now. Yeah, there's something here self-care and and uh taking care of your energy yeah you wasn't doing that what other messages do you have out here spirit please and thank you yeah third eye wide open i'm telling you this is some sort of freedom that you're uh free from this you got clarity somebody you was messing with was not all the way straight i'm hearing that they were not heterosexual that's what i'm hearing you got third eye clarity on this. There's some sort of freedom. You took a leap of faith. You walk by faith, not by sight. This is some sort of um, opportunity. It was like you saw through this. I feel like spirit helped you to see this. The divine creator of all living things, angel and spirit guides of the highest light, they helped you to see this. Your third eye was able to see that you got that um assistance your spirit guys you took a leap of faith you was right about something i could be speaking to a fire sign because i saw it yeah mm -hmm. it was slipped over i could be speaking to a fire sign out here yeah there was something this is sagittarius energy juniper I feel like, um, yeah. Maybe there was some, some clarity that came in. For Sagittarius, fire sign energy, courage is out here though. So courage is Leo. Juniper is a uh, Sagittarius. I feel this is a fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some sort of action was taken here. There's a new beginning coming in. I feel like um, you went inward. Some of you went inward. Spirit may have guided you. Some of you did ask for guidance and received it. What is this protect your energy? And I dream, yeah, thoughts and isolation. Some of you may be in your thoughts, in your head. You may be isolating yourself. Um, and that could just be just who you are. 
Okay. For some of you take what resonates, um, you know, not ripping and running the streets is not a bad thing. I feel like, you know, there will be some things coming up that you do want to attend, but it has to be wholesome. It has to be something that, you know, ain't going to be no riffraff, no bull crap. That's what I'm hearing. Those are what your thoughts are really circulate, uh, cir circling around is, you know, keeping your energy protected. Somebody may be viewing this as an isolation or um, they may be isolated up in their thoughts over you as well. This love offer could be thinking about you. What other messages do you have? Yeah. Yeah, there was something that was here that may not be unity. It may not be um, something that's transcendent and unified. You may have found this out in the autumn time. I feel that spirit telling you to, you know, be kind to yourself, okay? Love yourself, be you, no one but yourself, no one else. I feel like, you know, maybe this could be your story. Somebody felt like, you know, um... Somebody may have found something out about you, made you feel some kind of way. They owe you an apology, but there's no unity somewhere here within this reading pertaining to either your love life or um, this, you, uh, this people pleaser energy out here. For some of you, there was not a unity. There was somebody that was all up in their head. This could have been your energy as well. That you was all up in your head. You maybe even isolated because of this. Because you felt there was no unity. That's what Spirit is saying. This could be pertaining. I feel like I'm speaking to someone that you know. Um, is actually dealing with um, sexuality. There's conflicting sexuality out here. I'm hearing something conflicting about your sexuality or their sexuality, their preference. Yeah. This could be someone that's completing their cycles. This could be somebody that is like really stepping in and says, stay positive, keep the faith, believe in yourself. Somebody may be um, finally, you know, completing a cycle here. Like, you know, they're um, getting ready to make a decision, a determination pertaining to their sexuality. Um, I feel like there is the energies out here of several. There's a, there's a lot of energies out here right now. There's North Node, South Node energy out here. There's lovers energy. There's people, uh, you know, finding out who they really are energy. Yeah. There's a higher self activation here. I feel like this is pertaining to a wiser woman. There's some, uh, there's a wiser woman out here that has self, um, that has activated their higher self. It could have been through journaling. It could have been through channeling. It could have been through anything, but your higher self has been activated. For some of you out here, that's why it's under uh, trust the divine, ask for guidance. The divine wants to bring you clarity. Yeah. Oh, we look. Yeah. There was an epiphany. There was a breakthrough here. Somebody was trying to cause uh, the disasters. Um, somebody was trying or somebody was trying to put a detour in your fate. It didn't work. Somebody was trying to detour your the um your path. It didn't work. There was a breakthrough here. For a wiser woman. Yeah, they could not um put you on that detour. That's what I'm hearing. You may have even um, took a detour, but shoot, you came back stronger and harder. That's what I'm hearing. For this wiser woman that's out here. Somebody's envious of that. Mm. 
What other messages do you have? What is this? They love you, but they are in a toxic relationship. What is that? Mm. Feminine energy out here. Somebody loves you, but they're in a toxic relationship. They want you to be patient. When the time is right, they will come to you. And then um, some someone, and I feel this is still their energy. They love you more than you know. They just can't be with you right now. Their love will come from a distance. I feel like this is this message right here. They're with a toxic feminine energy. Take it how it resonates. Believe what does not. Divine masculine, you could be with a toxic feminine right now. This could be a, a message for um, a divine feminine who's wondering what's up with a masculine energy. They could be in a toxic relationship or with someone who's very toxic. Feminine energy, that's what came out. Y'all saw it. What else about this energy? Yeah. They place limitations and fears on things. I feel like this energy right here, yeah, this divine masculine, he 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 was something toxic. They have limiting beliefs. They place fear on everything. This isn't your energy. You ain't got time for it. They know you move different. I'm hearing. This energy is very fem uh, envy envious of you. Yeah. Somebody here doesn't think that you're going to forgive them or that their apology is going to be accepted. I feel this energy here. For whoever wants to come in who feels they owe you an apology. I, I don't feel they feel that you're going to accept their apology. Yeah, this could be Ace of Fire, Ace of Wands energy out here, new everything. I feel that has a lot to do with this love offer that's coming in. Sagittarius um, or Aries Leo Sagittarius, but it's in the reverse because it does say Ace of Fire in the upright. I feel like, you know, this could be like a combination of when it's in the upright, that's new everything. That's a new love offer. There's something about this. That's why um, the divine wants you to protect yourself. I feel like somebody might be trying to get into your energy field, moving closer because they can't no longer watch you online or digitally. And you are in union and a connection with someone. There's a love offer coming in, but I think spirit is telling you, be careful of this Leo Aries Sagittarius energy that may be coming in. Because that's the eighth of uh, wands in the reverse. But yeah, that's the ace of wands in reverse. That's the opposite of, um, you know, new everything. All the aces in the upright is uh, new everything. But an ace of wands reversed. Mm hmm yeah it's a distraction that ace of wands reverse this fire sign energy is a distraction somebody tried to plant a seed in the springtime it didn't get planted i feel like it has a lot to do here or there's someone coming in in the spring trying to plant some seeds that ain't going to get planted. Mm. Spirit is saying, peep game. Spirit just said, this, this fire sign, this ace of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they're envious. That's, that's who's envious. There was some sort of seed that was planted in the spring or they thought they planted something in the spring and it didn't happen yeah you shine some light on some shit you the sun you have leo in your placement they're envious that you're strong they're envious of your strength and your empowerment to others hmm yeah 
you get messages through your dreams from your spirit guides. They're envious of that. They're envious because you stay in the present and you're abundant and you're extremely gra grateful and it shows and you're blessed through that. That's how you get your blessings, I'm hearing. Yeah, they tried to cause you an unexpected storm. What other messages do you have for us at this time, please? And thank you. The, this one, two, they wanted to flip over and they didn't. Yeah, you're getting some sort of wish fulfillment. I feel like this wish fulfillment is going to come in once you keep a change your mindset, stay positive, keep the faith, believe in yourself. I feel like this is what's coming in. There's a wish fulfillment. That's why change and completion of cycles is here. There's some sort of toxicity that... Um, is 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 also in your energy somebody else is bound to some toxicity i feel this has a lot to do with like you know trust fire sign energy i don't know why i'll keep picking up on water sign energy pisces cancer scorpio energy too i'm just gonna tell you like this um when it comes to protecting your energy and your chakra don't be giving away no love into nobody don't be kissing on nobody. Don't let nobody be hugging up on you too much and all of this and that. Yeah, because see, somebody can't make a decision. They can't make a decision. I feel like it's it's this toxic. There is an energy here. They in some real toxic stuff. Someone can't make a decision when it comes to you. When it comes to all these circumstances, the, the, this whole reading there's a decision here. Somebody's trying to make. They can't make that decision. I feel like it does have something to do with your wish fulfillment. It could even be with your love life. It could be pertaining to something you have going on. Yeah, Mars energy, Aries in the reverse. Somebody's not attracted to something anymore. I feel like it's this. Somebody trying to make a decision. They're not attracted to this toxic energy anymore. Somebody had a dream of you. They may also be um, involved with the um, fire sign energy, but Mars is ruled by Aries, but also Pluto too. I mean, also Scorpio too. This could be a um, Mar, I mean, a um, Aries Scorpio placement. Because uh, Scorpio is also a part of Mars. Pluto, Scorpio energy. Yeah, somebody feels like, you know, Maybe some sort of sabotage didn't work. Somebody tried to put you in a guilt trip. It didn't work. Some sort of sabotage didn't work. I feel like somebody, since they couldn't put you in that contract of, you know, a work contract at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this was twin flame energy. I feel like spirit is telling you, be careful of this. Whoever's coming in with, I have a dream. Um, I have a dream. I have dreamed about you. I kept it to myself energy. This is a love offer. I think spirit's telling you to be careful of this love offer. The water sign energy at the bottom of the deck, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could also be um, an Aries. Be leery. Don't play with it. I wouldn't. Okay. What other messages do you have at this time for us, please? And thank you. Yeah. Somebody right now is on the fence about surrendering and releasing and purging whatever it is they need to purge. I feel this has a lot to do with that love offer. Take it how it resonates, apply it to where you see fit. Only you, knew, you know your story, but I feel there's a lot out here with that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Ace of Pentacles in, in the reverse. So that's Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Yeah. Mm. I feel like you had suitors. Mm hmm. You got Ace of Cups and Ace of uh, Pentacles out here. Yeah. I feel like that's two energies. Mm -hmm. And at the bottom of the deck, Spirit is saying, I'm speaking the truth. There was some sort, see, somebody was being deceptive here and somebody wasn't. somebody's trying to learn what to release they may not can't release it they probably want i feel like they didn't want you to see something but you saw through it anyway you saw through it anyway i'm just gonna see if any message comes out, what is this pertaining to, Spirit? What is the message? Yeah, a message of guidance. This is a message of guidance for someone. What other messages? What other messages? This may be a message to pass on to someone. This may be a spiritual message for someone. So a message of guidance, a message to pass on, and a spiritual message. And then at the bottom of the deck, just a free message. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there for you guys. Hopefully it resonated with you. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit your notification bell. Drop comments below if you feel that um, this message is going to resonate on any of these levels, being it a message of guidance, a message to pass on, a spiritual message, or just a free message of information for you. Um, make sure you know you follow your guidance, okay? Um, thank you so much to all of the new subscribers. I love you. The divine loves you. The all being 11 11 energy soul tribe family loves you and you know what i love to say until next time namaste